Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me here on Facebook Live. I wish we were in person, but unfortunately, with everything going on right now, that's not possible. My name is Miss Carrie, and I work for Ohio State University Stark Extension FNEP program. And today we're going to talk about food safety. Can anybody tell me what the most important thing it is that we need to do before we eat a snack or any meal? Yes, we should wash our hands. Does anybody know how long we should wash our hands for? Yes, 20 seconds. Should we do it with cold water, warm water? Yes, warm water. Warm enough to where we're not going to burn ourselves. And then we also want to use soap. So we're going to practice that today. It's very important, especially with everything that's going on in the world. So today we're going to sing our ABCs, which is, if you don't have a timer at home, that is a way to tell that you are doing it long enough. So I apologize for my voice right now. Your dogs might be howling in the background once we are done, but I'm going to get the water nice and warm. I'm going to add my soap, and I'm going to sing ABCs. If everybody can sing along with me at home, that would be great. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A. Next time, won't you sing with me? Great! I hope everybody did that. Now, what do I need to do next? Yes, I need to rinse all the soap and those germs off my hands and get them down in that drain. Did anybody notice that I made sure when I was washing my hands that I got in between my fingers? I got the palms of my hands. I got the backs of my hands. I also got my wrist, and I also try to get those fingernails too because we get a lot of gunk underneath our fingernails. So let's get all those germs down that drain. Notice also I'm using my elbow to turn off the water. Should I go ahead and dry them off on my shirt? Why not? Yes, because I have germs on my shirt. Because everything I touch, I touch my shirt and I spread those germs. So I want to make sure I have a nice, clean towel to wipe those hands off. Okay, now that that's done, I really would like to read a book to you guys that I really enjoy. And I know all my students that I have read it to in the past enjoy it also. So it's about food safety and it's called He's Back. I'm Jeremy, I'm green, I'm very rude. I hide on your hands and I hide in your food. I can't be seen, but I'm often there. I can make you sick and I really don't care. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. Look at these girls, do you see what I mean? They forgot the rules about how to be clean. Their hands aren't washed and the table is dirty. It's the perfect place for my next little party. I can hide in the food. I can make people ill. I can make them throw up. I can make them have food chills. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. Oh no, it's clean. She's always got plans like running water and soap to clean hands. She'll even scrub tables with water and soap. Watch the, when things are this clean, I don't have much hope. As we just talked about, clean's telling us to wash our hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. We also want to make sure all of our surfaces are clean, like our tables, our countertops, even our pots and pans, even our silverware, anything that we're going to put our food on, 
that touches the food, we want to make sure that's clean because anytime we get that food contaminated, we're putting that bacteria into our mouth. Another thing we need to do is we need to clean our fruits and vegetables. Now, do we use soap to wash those and clean those? No, we don't need to use soap for those. Just water, clean water. When things are clean, I can't move around. With clean on the scene, I had better leave town. I'll pack my bags, I'll move away. I've got to find some place to stay. I won't give up, I never will. Cause what I do best is make people ill. Hey, look at this, it's really great. He forgot the rules about separate. When these juices drip, I can really move. I can make my way from food to food. I can drip where I will, oh, what a thrill. I simply can't wait to make people ill. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. those ready-to-eat foods. Yes, we, we can separate them, but how can we separate them in the refrigerator? Yes, we could just put the grapes above the chicken. And another thing I personally like to do is I like to put any uncooked meat on top of a plate. That way, if any juices do drip down from it, it's going to be on that plate and it's easy cleanup. So that's a tip for mom and dad or whoever you live with. When kids learn how to separate their food, it puts me in a very bad mood. I'll be on my way. I'm out of here. But I'll be back. Let me make that clear. We'll meet again. Oh, yes, we will. I'll find some way to make you ill. Oh joy, oh yes, just take a look. A yummy burger that is undercooked. A grown-up took it off the heat before it was fully cooked to eat. The temperature inside was much too low to run me off and make me go. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. It's getting hot. I can't stand to look. Oh no, it's her, that nosy cook. She'll tell him how I hate the heat, that it will drive me from the meat. When the temperature rises, I have to leave. When it hits 106 degrees, I'm history. Has anybody seen a food thermometer before? I actually brought mine. There's several different ones. Mine is a digital one. It has a little, can you zoom in a little please? It has a little divot here that you wanna make sure that the meat goes down inside and that's covered. And then it'll tell you what temperature it is. When it gets to a certain time and it stops, certain temperature it stops, then you know if it's over that 160 degrees or not. There are some other meats that it could be different that's something you would have to check in. It depends on what you're making. So if you have not seen how one of these work, maybe ask your guardian to show you how it works next time you guys are in the kitchen. Get involved. It'll be fun. I may have lost this round to cook, but for other places I can look. I've got to go. I'll be on my way. I'll find some place where I can play. I'll find some place to play a trick. Some place where I can make you sick. Hooray, hooray, at last you'll see. There's no one quite as bad as me. 
Cold foods left out can lose their chill. Left out too long, they can make you ill. As this cold food begins to warm, I really can begin to swarm. I'm back. Bacteria, I'm back. Oh, brr, brr, it's oh so still. I feel the cold and her name is Chill. She'll tell them cold can keep food safe. She'll teach them to refrigerate. With temperatures at 40 degrees or below, oh, it's too cold. Oh, I'll have to go. Who gets their cereal out in the morning? I'm sure several of you do. I hope you remember to put the food, or the, I'm sorry, the milk back into the refrigerator as soon as you're done using it. Anytime you get any food out that's cold, please put it away as soon as possible so you don't get that bacteria squirming in there and then you eat it later and it makes you sick. Don't let bacteria win. Drop that pesky meddling chill. I'll have no chance to make you ill. I'll keep on trying. I'm not through. But my success depends on you. I'll look for ways to get to you. I'll never rest until I do. Make one mistake, it's all so easy. Make one mistake so I can make you queasy. What I fear most is that you'll take these rules you've learned and make me quake. You've learned that I can't make you ill if you clean, separate, cook, and chill. Oh no! The end. So I really hope all of you guys enjoyed this book as much as I enjoy it. And I really hope you follow the four rules about food safety to keep you safe and your family safe. Always remember to clean. Clean your hands. Wash them for the 20 seconds. Sing happy birthday twice or your ABCs once if you don't have a timer. Make sure you get those hands really good in between the fingers, the back of your hands, the palms, your wrist, and all those surfaces too. Separate. You want to take your ready to eat foods like your fruits and vegetables. Make sure they're on like a top shelf and keep all your meats and poultry below it so those juices don't drip onto them and make them unsafe. Cook. This one's probably a little more where you need an adult, a trusted adult to help you with that. Always check those meats. Make sure everything is cooked to temperature so you don't get sick from that also. And then chill. Always, always put those cold foods back in the refrigerator as soon as you're done, with, you're done with them. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope I get to see you all soon. I miss all your smiling faces, and I hope to see you all soon. Have a great day.